They did not. Oh my God. Hey y'all, I'm Brittany and today we're unboxing the Owlery box from the Wizarding Trunk. Welcome back to the channel. I am so happy you are here because we are unboxing probably my favorite subscription box and that is the Wizarding Trunk. I have been very impressed with everything that I've received thus far. And today we're unboxing the Allery box, which is their bi-monthly subscription box. And if I'm not mistaken, the surrounding theme to this is the Wizarding Tournament and its surrounding events. So I am repping my Goblet of Fire shirt. This is from Out of Print. And then you can see behind me on the mannequin, we've got the Quidditch World Cup, you know, spirit t-shirt. Hey, I'm sorry I don't have Ireland or Bulgaria, but living in the United States, so go USA. <laughs> Without further ado, let's make some magic. All right, y'all, so here we have the Owlery box from the Wizarding Trunk. Sorry, I was trying to take off the shipping label and the box got a little destroyed, but you know, it doesn't matter. You guys have seen this box probably numerous of times and we're not gonna waste time talking about the box because I just wanna see what's inside. And I'm sure you do too. <laughs> we're gonna start unboxing this thing and you all get the cheeky first peek. They did not. Oh my God. Wizarding trunk. I am so, uh, okay, I, I need a second. I was not expecting to see this on the very top of the box and it is a paper slip of my name that would go into the Goblet of Fire. How cool is that? Oh my God goodness the the printing of this the die cut of this this is just so cool i love it when customizations or personalizations are featured in the subscription boxes and this is my very first i believe from any subscription box so this is just so cool i am so happy with the start of this box fantastic we've got a shirt here i don't know if i want to look at it just yet so i think what i'm going to do is set it off to the side or should I wear it now? Hmm. I'm gonna set it off to the side for right now. And now a special message from Brittany in the future. And speaking of being a Triwizard Champion, you too can get eternal glory by participating in the Triwizard Trivia Tournament hosted by Dawson of the Fantastic Reddens and Where to Find Them, co-hosted by yours truly, as well as Mel from Geeking Out with Melly Mel. And it's going to be a lot of fun. It is a three event series. So the first event is taking place very soon on October 23rd at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, and you still have time to sign up. It's going to be such a great event. So the deadline to submit your name into the Goblet of Fire is Wednesday, October 20th. After that, can't sign up. So if you wanna learn more information about this event, head over to the Fantastic Reddens page. I'll leave a link in the description box down below. And to enter, all you have to do is go to Instagram, find Dawson at the Fantastic Reddens, and send him a DM with your YouTube channel name, and that's it. You are registered, and hopefully you will earn eternal glory. And now back to the video. First item that I see right off the top is in this green velvet drawstring bag. And I'm gonna guess that this has something to do with Ireland. Let's just see what's in here. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm... I actually think this is probably in relation to the first task of the Triwizard Tournament when the champions had to go and pick the dragon that they would be fighting to get the egg for the second task. So I think this is what this is. I wasn't quite expecting that, but it's definitely more of a flat sort of representation of the dragon. So if you look here, we, it looks like we've got some nostrils around here and it's, it's interesting that it's blue, but I do like the attention to detail with the carvings. I just, I literally was not expecting that. This is very interesting. I'm not sure the purpose of this, 
to me it would seem a little bit more like maybe a paperweight, but we'll just have to check the cheat sheet. So we have a representation of the Bulgarian souvenirs from the Quidditch World Cup and it's of this little hat. It's so cute. I don't think I could actually wear this. We'll try. Oh, does it work? I know I have to like kind of squat so you can see. <laughs> so it definitely does not fit on my head. That's very fun, very cute. I wonder if I could make Luna wear this. Ooh, okay, so this is most likely from Alchemy for the skin, but it says it's the truth serum. This serum was created to relax the user to the point where they will be unable to tell lies. Brewed with all natural rice bran oil, sandalwood, vanilla, and rose essential oils. Diffuse or apply directly to pulse points for maximum relaxation. So I really do like this label. It's a very clean, really well printed label. It is sealed very nicely, which is great. Oh, that smells very nice. I definitely smell the vanilla. It smells really, but, the, but this is what's kind of cool is like you can barely see that the vial, the droppers in there, but then once it extracts the solution, it kind of goes invisible. That's kind of cool. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but that's like, I don't know, it's just like a really cool looking thing. So I'm pretty sure I will diffuse this in my oil diffuser. I run those around the house all the time. So this is really nice. I like this. I also like the bottle and it'll look great also on my potion shelf behind me. So we have a book cover here. I know that Danny works exclusively with the wizarding trunk. So we're gonna set this off to the side as well with the t-shirt. I'm not gonna forget about the t-shirt, but we have a bunch of other little boxes here, but I'm gonna go after the pin and y'all get the first look. Is it Nicholas Flamel with his wife? Cause it appears that he's holding a red stone but I'm not entirely sure how this would be in relation to the tournament and surrounding events. Maybe I'm missing something. I'm probably missing something. I, I wouldn't doubt that, but we'll just have to wait for the cheat sheet. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I am so happy you're here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can become a part of our exceptionally ordinary family. All right, too, we've got a little patch in here, <laughs> this is cool, it's like an iron-on patch, but it's of the Durham Strang school logo. This is really interesting, really cool. I really do like that they included, of course, Durham Strang here in this box. So because it's an iron-on, you can put it either on a jacket or your backpack or whatever else you'd like to somehow display this. So the Durham Strang, logo appears to be that of a ship with the front of it that has either like a dragon or some sort of creature. I can't remember precisely what was at the very front of the ship, but it does seem to be of the ship that sails to Hogwarts for the Triwizard Tournament. I love the colors of the various, you know, kind of reds and then the yellow. So it's a really, really nice patch to represent Durmstrang. There's like four boxes in here and I don't like, I don't know which one to open first. So we're just gonna go with this little brown one here. It probably could be a potion, could be something else for all I know, which I'm trying to think what other potion would be in here. I mean, Polyjuice potion was used, unless it's maybe Gillyweed. I'm gonna guess Gillyweed because that was used in the second task. Got it nicely bubble wrapped. For sure it is a potion. Oh, very clever. I completely forgot about this too. <gasps> this is so pretty. The aging potion from the Weasley twins. I completely forgot about this. And the label is so well done. I'm going to go ahead and assume it's from Danny of Wizardry Workshop. And if we look at the top, we've got a beautiful purple wax seal with the letter W, some ornate elements around it to obviously represent the Weasleys. But check out the colors of this aging potion. And I haven't even shaken it up yet. And there's a letter G here on the label. So I'm assuming this is George's uh, aging potion. Look at that. It is simply gorgeous with these purple blues. It's so pretty. I really love how Pure Blood Apothecary does their potions. And then now that Danny is working exclusively with 
wizarding trunk to do all the labels and paper replicas. It just looks really, really nice. So the representation of the second task is of a Grendilo. Check that out. That is a little terrifying. I'm not gonna lie with the eyes and the mouth and what have you, but it's, it's really small, obviously if it's in the palm of my hand, but the shading and highlighting of this looks really cool. It's a great little display piece if you have like your magical creature shelves or if you have a Triwizard Tournament dedicated shelf, this is going to look really cool on display. <gasps> oh my goodness. Open it up for y'all. Oh, look how gorgeous this is. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. We have a beautiful illustration of Hogwarts here in the background. Uh, what appears to be a beautiful willow tree, of course, the Whomping Willow, and the mermaid braiding her hair. And off to the side, we have the golden egg of the second task. We've got like raised paint, ink. I'm not sure what's used to make stained glass, honestly. I That's something I've never delved into, but you can see how it's raised here on the back of the glass. Oh, I'm like blown away just by how beautiful this is. I gotta figure out how to like make it stand. I don't know if there's a stand that comes in here with it, but to make it stand and like have it kind of illuminated from the background, that way you can see just how gorgeous this looks. Wow. So this black box here, we're gonna open. I have no idea what could be in here. Oh, we have a note. Okay, we're gonna take a look at this note first before we check out the box. So this note here, the contents of this box can be used to resurrect a dark wizard. There is one item missing that must be willingly given by a supporter of the dark wizard that is being resurrected, but have no fear, you should be rewarded for your sacrifice. Okay, I'm a little concerned about what we're about to open. So inside the box here, we've got the little worms. And I'm like, I don't know what to expect. <gasps> oh my! Wow. Okay, wizarding box. This is this is creative. So recall the scene where Wormtail is there carrying the very you know fragile Lord Voldemort, and he's casting this spell. And the first part of the spell is to extract a bone from the father. We have here, y'all, bone of the father. Very dark, y'all. We have here a little vial of blood of the enemy. And check that out. We actually have Harry's blood in here. Oh my goodness, y'all. So no hand in this box. We're not gonna cut off our hands to bring back the Dark Lord because that would be a bad idea. I'm just so taken aback by these two items here, bone of the father and blood of the enemy. Okay, moving on to the paper replicas we have here. Ha, this is clever. Oh, I like this. So we do have representation of the Yule Ball, just not in the normal sense of like an imitation or something very crystal, which I would have really liked just because I personally don't have anything like that. It is the Yule Ball live album from the Weird Sisters. That is so neat. This is of the Yule Ball live album from Hogwarts. It did stream on their radio network and it's from the 1994, what does it say here? Cosmic Moon Tour. And it's not just an album jacket. We actually do get a little record. That's so fun. Oh my gosh, I haven't used one of these since I was a kid. You know, we had it growing up in my brother's room and it's the same artwork uh, on the label as is the jacket cover and on the flip side, we've got the different song titles as well. So this is really cute. This is really fun. I love this idea. So first here we have what appears to be maybe a bookmark 
or actually, no, it's not a bookmark. It's a ticket. Look at that gold foiling. <gasps> that is gorgeous. So cool. So this is your ticket to the World Cup. And it has that very iconic, you know, checkered background that we see from the poster. This is great. So it does say the 422nd World Cup. Ticket number 84 and three quarters. That's clever. I like that. And it gives you your information about where your seat is located. So that is cool. Like the Niffler in all of us is just gonna freak out. Oh, I'm so happy this was included because this is one part of the third task that I wish was included, but they didn't do it in the movies. We have a textbook page on the Sphinx. And it is an actual page that you can read to learn about the magical creature that is the Sphinx. And if you all remember from the books, there was a Sphinx in the third task in the maze that you had to answer its riddle in order to pass, or if you didn't, um, bad things would happen to you. So this is really great that that was included. And it seems like we're getting a whole collection of book pages in the Wizarding Trunks boxes. I know we have one on Lycanthropy, uh, the, you know, turn to page 394. And I know there was another one that dealt with dragons. So this is cool that we're kind of building a collection on textbook pages that have been uh, ripped out from, you know, the various textbooks, but this is cool. And it's information on the Sphinx and it is double-sided and completely legible. I'm excited to read this and learn more about the Sphinx. All right, so we're finally going to check out the shirt here and I am unfolding it, looking at y'all. I don't want to be spoiled to it just quite yet, but I'm gonna have y'all take the first look and I hope it looks amazing. I like that it's in this blue kind of color. <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh, it's a tournament champion. This is cool. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, like, I'm, I'm so impressed with everything that's been in this box. I, I don't, I don't believe I have anything negative to say about any of it. It looks so, like everything's so cool. And this shirt, I love shirts. I love collecting now Harry Potter shirts, but more so, non-licensed items. And I'm pretty sure that this is from Danny here at Wizardry Workshop, but check out this logo. Oh, it's very cool. We've got what appears to be uh, the Triwizard Cup. We've got a mer person here on the side. And on the opposite of that, we've got another magical creature here. I'm not quite sure what that is. Maybe the cheat sheet will give us more info on that. But then we also have a print on the sleeve. Very simple, but it's, I just love the details on it. And, oh, it's on both sleeves. Okay, that's very cool. So it looks a little bit more sporty, a little bit more official kind of looking. There's nothing on the back, but this looks great. Oh my gosh. Now I kind of wish I unboxed this first and had it on display here, but Alas, it still looks great. <laughs> I'll be taking pictures of today's video and posting them on Instagram. So be sure you are following Brit's Magic Trunk. Okay, so I stopped the camera, went ahead and put the shirt on the mannequin. That way you guys can appreciate it in all its glory for the last part of this video. And I still really love it. It looks great. I do like that it's in this sort of blue, like a very darker blue shirt and the print is not white. It's kind of like this beige sort of print, but it just looks fantastic. I can't wait to wear it and be a Triwizard Champion. All right, so we have one more item to unbox before we get into the cheat sheet. But again, I have been so happy with everything that I've received. I think I need a little clarification on a couple of items, but either way, I'm still very happy with everything I've received thus far. Let's go ahead and open the book cover. I believe this book cover is going to cover the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them screenplay. Oh. Oh my goodness. 
magical water plants of the Irish wetlands. This is great. This is a nod to the book that Professor Moody, AKA Barty Crouch Jr. gave to Neville. But this looks really cool. I really love, of course, the gold foiling. It's just, you know, fantastic. But the colors of the dust jacket itself is really interesting with like these blues, greens, and like purples. It's just gonna look cool. I mean, slowly building my collection of having these alternate dust jacket covers for the hardcover series, and I have not been disappointed. We're gonna take a look at the cheat sheet here, which is in this very like in your face blue. Like this is cool. And I'm assuming that Danny again is now working on their cheat sheets, which is a huge improvement from just your standard like, you know, listing everything as it is. This looks a lot more like maybe something out of a program book presented by the Magical Sports Association and the Wizarding Trunk. 422nd World Cup Moon in Pisces. Oh, okay, this is interesting. Magical Water Plants of the Irish Wetlands. This book cover was designed by Wizardry Workshop. It fits the first screenplay for Magical Beast. Noted alchemist from the visiting school. Despite common misconceptions, there are wizards that attend this school for magic as well. This pin depicts a noted alchemist and his wide, wide, I'm pretty sure you mean wife, wizarding trunk. Pretty sure that's what you mean. <laughs> so this pin depicts a noted alchemist and his wife from that school. Okay, so that makes sense now, considering that Nicolas Lamel is French. I'm assuming he went to Beaubatons and he met his wife there. And he is the noted alchemist of the Sorcerer's Stone. Wizarding Trunk, if y'all need someone to proofread your stuff, holla at your girl. <laughs> visiting school, iron on patch. You will receive one of two patches from one of the visiting schools. This patch was designed for us by Luke Parker at Here Be Monsters. Okay, I'm a little bummed out about that. I would have liked to have had both patches, honestly. I mean, I understand like the whole idea of just sending one, but like, let's represent both schools because honestly, I didn't fully get this with the Bobatons kind of representation. So I feel like if they sent both patches, that would have been great. Miniature World Cup hats. Each box will contain one of two hats. Which team will you be supporting at this match? Ireland or Bulgaria? We shrunk these down for your magical sports shelf. Full-size versions will be available on the Wizarding Trunk website soon. Okay, that's cool. I, you know, I'm for that. I would have liked to have had both of these miniature World Cup hats. But again, that's just me. Mermaid glass. This is our take on the mermaid stained glass. This piece will look excellent on your windowsill, your tournament shelf, or your desk. This piece was designed for us by Twillings and Tattings. Very beautiful piece, very happy with that. I just wish that there was like a stand that came with it. That would have been a very helpful add-on. World Cup ticket. This gold foiled ticket will get you into the World Cup. Who are you supporting this year? And don't forget to place your bets. Designed for us by Wizardry Workshop. Dragon scales. The dragon scale that you pull out of your bag will represent the dragon you must face. The Hungarian scale is gold and brown. The Chinese dragon scale is red and black. The Welsh dragon scale is green and the Swedish dragon scale is blue. I got the Swedish short snout scale. I, you know what? Honestly, I've never really considered what a dragon scale looks like. So that's why this kind of looked really off to me. It's still a cool concept. Just the fact that you get a little figurine of the dragon you're supposed to face. So that is cool. Aging potion. This potion was brewed to just age you a few months. Whose initial did you receive on your bottle? Designed for us by Wizardry Workshop and bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. Okay, now this one I actually am okay with like not receiving both. The Tournament Champion shirt. These shirts were designed for all of our tournament champions by Wizardry Workshop. Great shirt. I've noticed that they're stepping up their game with the shirt quality, so I'm very happy with that. Bone of the Father and Blood of the Enemy. Keep these items away from anyone interested in resurrecting a dark witch or wizard. There is one missing element that would need to be given by the servant. Grindelo. This creature is said to inhabit Yorkshire and Lancashire. Lancashire? Sorry, y'all. I'm not from the UK. I don't know how to pronounce any of these things. <laughs> be careful when making your way through the lake. These creatures may just cause you to give up. Yep, that's right. 
Yule Ball Live Record Display Piece, a collection of all the songs we would have heard at the Yule Ball. This record will not work on non-magical record players. Designed for us by J.P. Mistlecrow. Truth Serum. This truth serum is exceptionally strong and just one drop will have you telling your deepest secrets. This was made for us by Alchemy for the Skin. Personalized Parchment Names. Each of these boxes will include the name of a champion that has been chosen to compete. These were designed for us by Wizardry Workshop. So fun. I absolutely love the personalized parchment slips. I mean, so cool. Just so cool. Next bi-monthly theme is the order and the arm. Do we mean the arm or the army? Because the order of the phoenix would represent the order and then the army, Dumbledore's army. Again, wizarding trunk, if y'all need someone to proofread your stuff, holler at your girl. <laughs> okay, so overall, I am very happy with this box. I thought it was really well curated really well thought out of. The only things I do want to say is that I do wish that we did receive the Bobatons as well as the Durmstrang iron-on patch. I think that's something that should have been included in all the boxes because you don't want to just like represent one school or one team. You want to have both, but that's just my personal opinion. The same goes with the representation of the miniature hats for Bulgaria as well as Ireland. I would have liked to have received both. That way they'd have equal representation on the shelf or however you choose to display your items. All right, so favorites and least favorites. It's probably easier to just go ahead and say my least favorites because I really did enjoy everything from this box, but there were some things that are just like, eh, you know, I, I could have, you know, gone without. Uh, the first being the pin. While I really do love the quality of the pin, I, I just wasn't connecting the dots about Nicholas Flamel and the wizarding tournament and the surrounding events. Like to me, this would have been better had it been for the Sorcerer's Stone or if, I don't know in the future if Wizarding Trunk is planning on doing anything Fantastic Beasts related, but that would have been a little bit more in line with that storyline. Like I said, other than the fact that I totally spaced on the fact that Flamel went to Bobotons, assumingly, that this just didn't quite fit into the theme of this box. The second least favorite item is the Grindelo, although it's very cute, very, you know, appropriate for this box. Again, it's just not something that I kind of really think about when I think of the Triwizard Tournament or, you know, the Qu Quidditch World Cup, of course. So this to me was a little bit of a miss, just me personally, I'm being probably a little bit critical, but it is really well done and it will display really nicely on your magical creature shelves. So that is a fun addition. I mean, ultimately, I don't think it makes or breaks the box. Just me personally, I, it just doesn't really resonate a whole lot with me. And then probably my least favorite is going to be the dragon scale, which I'm really sad to say, but because of the fact that it just didn't like click, it just didn't click about this representing a dragon scale. I mean, I initially saw a dragon head that had been flattened and I thought, well, you poor thing. This would be cool to serve as maybe like a paperweight in a way, but yeah, this is probably my least favorite. That wraps up today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item was from this box. Thanks again for watching. I really do appreciate it. And don't forget to mention to your fellow witches, wizards, and muggle friends about Britney's magic trunk. I'll see y'all in the next video.